Hi, my name is Emily. I'd like to take a little bit of your time to tell you about an interesting science book. It's called I Can Be an Archaeologist by Robert Pickering. Archaeologists are scientists who study how ancient people lived. They look at clues that people left behind hundreds or even thousands of years ago. Some of the clues are big, like the houses people lived in and the walls they built. And some of the clues are small, like the coins people used and the tools they made. When I grow up, I want to be a scientist. So this book was very exciting for me. And if you're interested in how people lived in the past, pick up I Can Be an Archaeologist. Hi, I'm Chris. Did you know that crocodiles go to school with lunch boxes and pencils? They do in this hysterical book, Bill and Pete Go Down the Nile. This is a story about a crocodile named Bill and his toothbrush, who is also a bird named Pete. When they go to school, they learn about Egypt, their homelands, and the Nile River. Their teacher takes them on a class trip to see the mummies, pyramids, and all sorts of things that are in Egypt. The exciting part of the story comes at the end, but I don't want to give it away, so I'll only tell you that somebody winds up being a mummy. You ought to read this book because it's a riot, and since most kids can't take a real trip down the Nile, this book is the perfect substitute. I give it a thumbs up. Where can you go to find ancient artifacts, new paintings, and word sculptures all under one roof? A museum, of course. Or you can try reading the book I just read called Visiting the Art Museum. It's about a family with kids who don't want to go to the museum, but their mom and dad take them anyway. When they get there, they see a variety of things and discover that a museum can be very interesting after all. They see Egyptian pharaohs, lots of sculptures, and beautiful paintings. My favorite part was when they were visiting the knights in shining armor because I love medieval times. I'm Jeremy Clapperman, and if you can't go to the museum today, why not get this book where you can explore lots of worlds that are new to you?